Yo, what is going on you guys? It is your boy Ice Pop here, bringing you Super Mario Odyssey Part 9. In the last episode, we completed the Wooded Kingdom, fought the boss, fought Bowser and the Cloud Kingdom, and then he duffed our ship and so now we are on the Lost Island? Oh, we haven't accessed the map yet. Lost Kingdom, excuse me. So now we are here, the Lost Kingdom. Doing our thing, trying to collect some power moons to restore power to the Odyssey so we can get our princess back because that is the point of this entire game. Bowser cannot steal our girl. She is ours. We have fought for so many games for her. So I think we deserve to... Not that... Okay, I should take that back, but... Peach should care for us more than Bowser, so we're going to try to win her over by rescuing her yet again. But before that, again, we got to get some fuel for our ship. The power moons. Then we can finally continue on our adventure. Uh, looks like there's a fun little thing we could do. One. Is there one up here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So we're gonna get this one. Not the thing I wanted to do. There we go. And that's deadly. I didn't think I'd fall already. I'm trying to remember how to jump on those exactly. I think I kept my progress, which is nice. Um, I'm blanking. This is... Oh, duh. Okay, so this is one of the new things I was telling you that we can use in this game. One of the new creatures. So you get that cool little accordion noise, stretch and collect things. And then that's weird. That's a little random room. I wonder if there's anyone in here. And it's Captain Toad. All this money. I think yeah, he's not looking, right? We're just gonna just gonna, you know, just collect our money. I think we earned it, right? That's gonna Pete rescuing the Princess Peach so much. Anyway, somehow Toad got here. We don't really know how he does these things. But he's given us yet another power moon. So shout out to Captain Toad. Hope he's enjoying his little island adventure out here. Kind of a weird place to be. It's probably really musty. It looks like it'd be a jungle area where it's really musty and humid. But I mean, that might be his atmosphere. I mean, he does have a mushroom on his head and mushrooms are fun guy and they like bacteria. So I guess that works out for him. Yeah, sure. So now we are trying to collect the other pieces to this moon. Which looks like there's one more and I don't know where it is. Um, I don't know where it is. It should be obvious. I probably have zoomed past it and you guys are like, Ice Pop, you missed it. Yeah. But I haven't seen it with my own eyes. That dude is about to hit me, that's why I did that. Is it on the back side of here? Yes, it is. So the moon is way back over there. So we gotta go get it. So we got to get back onto here. Man, this reminds me that this dude probably has crazy strong abs. I would not be able to do this. I don't like doing abs in my workout. But nonetheless, we got a moon. Let's go. And this dude's kind of wild. Actually, since this dude's super colorful, I got a new comment question for the video. Kind of random, but what is your favorite color? And why? Mine is definitely the color orange. I don't know why I like it so much, but I've liked it since I was a kid. So, yeah. Color orange. And then second is blue, and then my third is green. Hence the Ice Pop 360 colors. So, yeah, let me know your guys' favorite color and why in the comment section below. I didn't answer why. So for me, orange is a very uncommon color in my opinion. Like, you want to see blue, you look up in the sky. You want to see green, you look at the grass. Unless you live in California, because it's super dry out there. <laughs> Joke if you live out there. Anyways. Um, yeah, it's just uncommon. I enjoy orange, because when you see it, it's kind of refreshing. Like, wow, it's orange. I haven't seen that in a while. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I enjoy orange. It's cool. And so yeah, let me know your guys' favorite color in the comments below.
you can tell I'm making up these common questions on the fly, so they're probably not the most intriguing, but I'm curious to know. Because colors matter. Oh, we're not supposed to... Oh. Oh? Oh. 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 That was... wow. That was a whole lot of wow. I'm really trying to focus. I haven't played these games in a while. I actually need your help, buddy. So yeah, um, that's also another thing in Super Mario Odyssey that is really cool is their artisticness. How every kingdom looks different from another. Some look similar as you'll see later on. There's another kingdom that looks like one we've previously played, but they're still very artistic and creative in their own way, and I really do appreciate that. And yeah, that's super fun. Okay, I had to pause. Someone was at my door. My bad. So, uh, something again that I brought up in the last video, E3 happened, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was announced. Super excited for that. I don't know if many of you are very familiar with the Smash Bros. series, but as I said in the last video, it's been a part of my childhood. I love it. Play it. I played a lot actually in college. I've never played it so much more in my life than in college. Just because it's a very competitive scene. As in... Us guys like get really into it. I don't know why, we just enjoy it. And yeah, it's fun to play. Uh, if any of you guys play any cool characters, let me know. I mostly play Melee, so I stick with simpler characters. Like Mario is one of my mains. I always played with uh, Captain Falcon too, as well as um, Marth. Those guys were really good in Melee and I enjoyed playing as them. And I'm also not going for those purple coins anymore. In the previous videos I was, just because, you know, natural habit. Natural habit's probably not the right term, but anyways. Um, it's kind of hard to jump. Uh, but we don't need them because we're not trying to 100% complete the game. We're just trying to collect as many power moons and rescue the princess. And in the process, we are collecting moons. And we don't need the purple coins for moons. Although I do buy moons often from the shops with coins. But we have a thousand coins now. I'm trying to get an item for a funny moon in a kingdom later down the road. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. My favorite moon I did in, I want to say part 3. With the toad in the hidden area. And um, the sand when you had a fish for him. That was pretty cool. So now we're going to collect our final moon. Just way down there. This is what I was saying my favorite power-up. When I said it could do many things, you can fly basically. You really glide, but it just, it's cool. If it was in other kingdoms like the Metro Kingdom, that would be super cool too, but yeah. Flying is cool. I enjoy flying with this dude. I don't know how his glasses work. He probably has to look cross-eyed through them, but he seems to be happy. He's just jamming out to this cool music. Which actually, this is one of my favorite kingdoms in the game. It's really small, but I don't know. I just really enjoy this kingdom. It's fun. It's got cool music, cool power-ups. It's colorful in its own way. But yeah, we are now going to restore the Odyssey so we can get back to rescuing our princess. And finally go to the Metro Kingdom. So the Odyssey is repaired. Apparently that's how you restore stuff in life. You don't need to go to a mechanic. You just throw moons at it. So that's pretty neat. So now we are leaving the Lost Kingdom. We are going to the New Donk City. Spoiler, that's the name, but it's the Metro Kingdom. You guys should probably know it's the New Donk City place, but if you don't, there you go. So Mario's looking out the window. Oh, I can skip the scenes. I probably won't for now. But I'm going to read this now, this stuff now. So, actually I'm not because this is reading stuff. For useful moves I already know how to do. And so now, we're on our way to the Metro Kingdom. And he says that the whole kingdom is one vast city filled with skyscrapers. It seems it was built using the energy from power moons. Which that is important later on. So now, 
we are descending into the Metro Kingdom. It's super lively, super cool. But what is this? Where is everyone? Why is it stormy? That's not very lively. What's going on? Then there's probably the biggest boss in the game right there. The boss is really cool. And then Peach is up there for some reason. And so Cappy notices the obvious that things don't look good. And then the mystery box from Call of Duty Zombies is up there as well. So we gotta, you know, try to get our Zeus cannon. Ray Gun Mark II. I like the Mark II better for no splash damage. So we're gonna talk to a familiar face actually right now. Is she following me with her eyes? She oh, look at her eyes, like boom. Boom. Anyway. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to chat right now. I need to figure a way to save my city. Aww. Things have been in utter chaos since that brutish monster showed up. Aww. And he has the nerve to be advertising his wedding all over the city. I butchered that. Anyways, a bit tasteless if you ask me. She doesn't seem to recognize us. I don't know why. I think in a little while she'll recognize us, like post-game or something. But it's kind of strange at first how she doesn't really... She was like, oh Mario, I'm so glad you're here, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, he mentions there's a lot of bugs. These things are really annoying. Don't appreciate them. I know where we have to go, I just don't remember exactly how to get there. I'm trying to figure out... It's probably this way, there's a tank with a nice hat. That's a good sign, right? So there's the shop. They're open. This crazy cap is always open no matter what. It's pretty awesome of them. Blow up these worms because worms are gross. And yeah, it looks like we're going the right way, which is nice. So now this Goomba is safe. He has a hard hat. And he hurt me, so he needs to die. So that's how Mario games work. Oh! Oh! Did not die. Did not die. You saw it. I did not die. That was very close. I've only died once this episode. That one time was pretty lame. So we're gonna just kind of pretend that never happened. So we're gonna have to fight our way to our princess. So yeah, get ready guys. This is the final kingdom in the game. Yeah, not really. But this is a pretty cool boss fight that I really enjoy fighting. Gotta dodge all these dudes. Climb up these stairs. It's kind of too bad. Stairs are annoying. I don't know if you guys like stairs in real life. I don't. Another smart Goomba. Good for you, pal, wearing a smart hard hat. So we're gonna ascend because we don't need stairs there, luckily. I don't think we get that moon for a little while. We could grab it now, but. This dude called me a little man. Even if, I don't know what he was kind of saying. I think he was making fun of us. That's not really cool. We're going to grab this moon real quick. Just because, as you can see in the top left, we need a lot of them. I wasn't sure if I'd make that, and I almost didn't. Okay. So we are going to enter this random room way up here. We got to climb up a little area to be able to fight the boss thing. I don't actually remember what it's called, but we're going to do that in part 10. Because I'm going to end the video here. Time is getting a little long. I really wanted to cut the video down somewhere like 12 minutes, but some kingdoms... It's kind of weird to pause in some parts. But sometimes the videos just run too long, so I'm going to end it here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys in another video.